Hi. I write this not in self-defense but more in an educational way of sorts regarding real Muslim and cultural forms of public affection. Muslims typically do not show public displays of affection. In the West and for non-Muslims we are accustomed to seeing people literally making out on the streets. Here, it is highly frowned upon and honestly I have never seen it while being here and in some cases can lead to a fine or more. The forehead kiss is used as a form of modest expression for affection and deep love for someone. You would not do this gesture just for anyone. So I hope this helps explain that the gesture does not signify a lack of love but actually the opposite and I sincerely hope that someday everyone gets to experience true love like this, two hearts. Reaction Channels Let's all sit around and do nothing and wait for Foodie Beauty to work on her content and upload. Can someone tell me exactly how it is fair for me to make a simple video? A simple vlog. A simple stream talking with my own community only to have, and this is no exaggeration, at least 10 or more reactors, super lazy reacting if you can call it that, go on a live with their community immediately or soon after I post? The problem is that their community is built on my content or on hate for me. It gives people who do not want to give me the views, for my own content, a place to go and watch and hate. Again, my content. If you do not like me or my content then one should simply not watch. I am writing this because I searched YouTube and even Amberlynn reactors are not lazy and don't usually, maybe sometimes, use her entire videos in a 2-3 to three hour live stream. It's not fair for one creator, me, to make something for my viewers only to have it stolen immediately after. I lose many views this way and yes it is a problem that any creator would dislike. Imagine if it was you. I have seen reactors copy strike people for way less. Honestly just sniping my stream and adding in a derogatory or even nice comment about something so petty and trivial is just not a fair reaction. It makes me not even want to put it any effort into doing anything. YouTubers are not copyright protected, the process is very hard and expensive, but imagine an author for example just finished writing a book. The minute they put it out, someone starts streaming and reading the entire thing. No, what should happen is that the critic reads the book, then makes a non-lazy summary of points worth criticizing. You don't just use someone else's content to build a community and discuss a 10-minute video over 3 hours. I don't know how people don't think this will affect me or my livelihood or don't care. It really makes it hardly worth it for me to make content. To go through any effort to make videos or put myself out there only for others to reap the benefits behind a computer screen. It's because no one would watch these reactors unless they capture it right away but that's not true because some reactors take the time to make a thoughtful reaction and don't simply steal every single piece of content I put out immediately after. I hope someday YouTube changes the terms of service but I am seriously considering another platform. People subscribe to me here as Beezers and if you really want to watch you can subscribe on TikTok for the, the same price. It'd like to try and build a community elsewhere out of the reach of so many grubby hands. There are also new people who follow me each day over there and I could play music, regardless of your excuse of why you watch on reaction channels, because it is free and etc etc it's still wrong and it's still stealing views and really, if I do leave this platform you will have nothing at all. Alright I've had enough. If reaction channels are so interesting on their own, good luck vlogging because I am out of here. Or good luck picking apart my past. Also, when I do get back to Canada I will be pursuing a defamation case against a certain vile dump truck as well as emotional damages. Just wait. For what? Animal abuse allegations which are 100% false. Animal control came three times and reported no neglect or abuse. Period. Your chin literally shakes when you talk and you have the nerve to body shame anyone you manly pillowcase. For years all of you have been a part of mine and my cat's lives. You saw how much I loved them. You also saw how my mental was on and off good and bad. I have never abused my animals. The cat's nails was not intentional neglect. Google an elderly cat's nails. Sam's were fine. If I abused and starved my cats, animal control would have taken them the three times they came to our home. Do I need to produce their records? Saying I starved my cats is defamation and every penny you made exploiting my cat will come back when I sue the raggedy Adidas shirt off of your back. Did I let the house get messy and neglect the cleanliness of their eating area sometimes? Yes but they were always fed. 
When I enter a deep depression even cleaning the villa became too much and yes mental health is a valid excuse for neglecting your life. As I said a million times. When I videoed Pete's from Kuwait he showed me her nails and they were fine. Or at least looked that way. Elderly cats nails grow coarser and longer than younger cats. I clipped their nails with Pete's before I left for Kuwait. I didn't know that elderly cats nails need to be trimmed every two to three weeks which is why they were so overgrown and Sam's were fine. I got home and because on video her nails were fine I didn't check them right away. When I did check them and saw them overgrown I immediately made a call to her vet and made the appointment to say I intentionally caused BBJ pain is defamation and bullshit. Some of you have elder abuse charges and have the nerve to come for me over animal neglect that ISNT even intentional. Before rehoming her I clearly stated to the liar WHO took her I was concerned about the nails and her health and wanted to take her to the vet. She is 21. If I was starving her how did she live this long? Both my pets always looked extremely happy in all photos and videos. Don't act brand new about this shit. The only scammer is FFGWHO thinks she will get away with what we she did in the long term. Again just wait Danny DeVito looking freak. Also you shame our home and look at where you streamed with cokehead Shannon. There was a literal old towel hanging from the window. And you drove high. More hypocrisy. Obviously the cat at 21 is going to have a myriad of health problems she is 21. If you are a better pet owner chain smoking pelican neck idiot where is Ollie and your dead dogs? Okay so one had terminal illnesses that you kept inhumanely alive like you are doing to BBJ with the irreversible health issues she has but what about dog number two? You killed IT. You let your Ollie suffer batch. So zombie supporters need to STF you about me being a cat killer when your cult leader literally killed two. Beyond the messy dry cat food area from having a messy home when I could barely function myself, mental health shaming is so cool guys, and from the nails which is ignorance on my part I have always loved and cared for my pets. So much so that BBJ lived 21 years. I hope using caps will help your understanding because nothing else does. The only reason that ugly pillowcase stole my cat is to use IT in her hate campaign against me and all you morons fell for IT. You don't see videos of BBJ all you see is a shit update picture and of course the vet will find things wrong. She is 21 FFS. I am done letting this stupid platform of vampires and hateful disgusting weirdos damage my mental health further. Go on, just boozing, use this reg to feed your kid you weirdo. And messy poo you islamophobic weirdo, you make fun of my abaya but nice tablecloth you wore in your previous stream with 12 viewers. Enjoy this rage because it's the last you will hear from me. I tried one final time but am, 100, done. Even the money is not worth it anymore. Salah made bank anyway this Ramadan so I don't care about money. Improving my life offline is the only way right now, waving hand, kissing face. Oh gee look at this my pets look so neglected and abused. Messy poo your animals look more unkept always than mine ever did hypocrite. You people are weird and sick and no matter how messy my life is at least I don't take part in hate campaigns. You are all complicit in poor BBJ having to live her last days with a toxic chain smoker whose man is her brother. Nice. Explains the hills have eyes genetics going on, vomiting face. Anyway I wish my beezers well but I have to do this for myself. Alright. I wanna live in freedom I wanna dance with my demons I wanna drink for no reason And celebrate every season Yeah, yo, call my place the kingdom Cause I got what you need Don't forget to subscribe And, and if you like what you no see one. Please buy my merch Link in the description fun. below so let's get some, yeah I'm